Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about an issue that a lot of people run into when trying to exercise on a regular basis. And that is a lot of people just don't feel motivated to do it and they feel lazy and they just feel this desire to not go towards exercising on a regular basis at all. So I wanted to make this video to inspire you and motivate you and teach you some things to push yourself to actually go in the direction of training on a regular basis with whatever type of exercise that you're into and you want to do on a regular basis so you can gain and maintain the fitness levels, the energy levels and the body and all of the amazing health benefits you get for your mind and body holistically as well. So what I have to say is a lot of the time on my journey for years and years and years and before I was into calisthenics it used to be a long distance cyclist, I was into running, I used to be into skateboarding, BMXing, so many different things. So I've been an athlete almost all of my life and I used to run for the school team and be one of the fastest runner for the 800 meter. And yeah, I used to go against other schools and actually win and beat them. So what I have found is, yeah, there's quite a few times where I don't want to go. But if you want to achieve what you want to with anything in life, a lot of the time you need to do the things that you don't want to do. You need to be your best parent ever and push yourself. A lot of time when a child doesn't want to do something, when you know it's good for them, you sometimes need to give them a kick up the bum in the right direction. Not in a violent way at all, but really encourage them and help them go in the direction of doing what you know is good for them. So you need to do this with yourself. So if you feel, oh, I don't feel like I wanted to do it today, say, pick yourself up, go and listen to some intense music, whether it's drum and bass, dubstep, whatever gets you motivated, or listen to some motivational and inspirational videos or MP3s, and start moving around a little bit and say, right, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do this and I am gonna push through this and get my ass to the gym and just go and train. And I'm telling you so many times, when I haven't wanted to train at all and I feel slow and sluggish, I then go and train and once I've finished, I feel that I've achieved so much and I feel so alive and proud of myself and then I notice that my state starts to massively change mentally and physically where I start to feel more motivated, more energized, more alive because a lot of time we can feel tired and demotivated and sluggish and lazy due to having low levels of oxygen in the body and having high levels of CO2 and also due to the lymphatic system becoming stagnant and our blood circulation slowing down. And also, when you're exercising, it's gonna help increase the oxygen levels, improve the blood circulation, stimulate the lymphatic system so it can be drained off of any toxic waste that is throughout the lymphatic system. And it's also gonna give your body an abundance of endorphins, which are really, really gonna make you feel absolutely amazing. And they've been shown to be more effective for relieving people of depression or massively reducing depression symptoms than Prozac. So yeah, just get yourself up, get moving and go and do it. And I can tell you now, so many of the people that I've learned from over the years, there's so many times in life that you don't wanna do the things that you really need to be doing. And for example, so many times, I don't wanna brush my teeth, but I need to do it, otherwise my teeth are gonna rot out of my mouth. And so many times, I don't wanna to go to bed early, but I know if I don't, I'm not gonna feel the best the next day, I'm not gonna have as much energy, my mood's not gonna be as good. And it's the same with healthy eating on a regular basis. And there's times where I feel like I don't wanna get out of bed, but so many times I get moving and start getting on with things, then I start feeling motivated and feeling alive and I start really, really enjoying my day and I get so much done and just become so productive. So make no excuses. You just got to do a lot of things that you don't wanna do that you know are gonna benefit you in the short term and long term as well. And yeah, I just have this mindset where I wanna achieve so much in life. So I also focus upon the outcome of me going towards the things that I want to do. So with my exercise regime, I think to myself, okay, I don't feel so motivated, but if I start slacking and not training on a regular basis, I'm not gonna be able to sustain the body that I have and actually gain more muscle mass and reduce my body fat percentage even more. And it's gonna push me away from my end goal, which is getting the physique that I want to achieve. And yes, 
I already have a body that I absolutely love, but I have bigger goals for my body that will take years and years and years. So the more times I slack off and not go to the gym on a regular basis and doing the other things that I do alongside that to give me the body that I desire, it is gonna take me longer to get towards my end goal. And if I'm slacking off so much on a regular basis, I'm never gonna to get to the result that I desire. So I always think to myself, yeah, okay, if I don't do that, I'm not really gonna get what I want to. And then I feel like a bit of a failure, which then gives me more motivation. And I say to myself, come on, let's just get going. Let's do this. A lot of the time in the past, you've not wanted to train. And after you feel amazing, you feel you've achieved so much. So yeah, this is just something to be very, very aware of. And yeah, there is a very clever survival mechanism within us all. And that is the reptilian brain, also known as the amygdala part of the brain, which is the first layer of the brain, which just literally wants you to survive, not necessarily thrive in life. So a lot of the time, this will hold you back from moving towards things, and a lot of time it can induce fear within you, and anxiety, and worry, and concern, or even the flight, flight, or freeze response. But yeah, we don't always need to follow the path of what our reptilian brain wants us to do. We need to just ignore it a lot of the time and push through it and don't let it take control and just allow ourselves to take control. Because if it takes full control, we're never gonna be able to achieve anything in life. And what I say is take no time off, for example. And what I say is if you've woken up today and you don't feel like you want to train, for today, just keep going forward, go and train and do not slack off and take a day off. But if you get to the next day after training and you do feel more tired, then take a day off then and rest as much as you need to and take extra special care of yourself so you can recover. And one last thing I would like to add, there is some times where you do need to listen to that internal voice and those feelings of needing to slow down and resting. And I've gone through many times like this in my life where I've been so busy in my life on a regular basis, had quite a lot of stress going on, and I can see that my body needs to rest and take some time off. So you need to be very mindful around this and knowing when to push yourself and when not to. And the reason why I mention this is a lot of time in the past, even when I knew my body needed to rest, I wasn't in tune with it so much. So I would just push through and keep going and going and going and going. And then I'd end up with issues such as adrenal fatigue. So yeah, like I said, just be very mindful around this. If you're not feeling motivated and you don't feel a huge desire to do anything in life and you feel extremely fatigued and you're just sleeping loads and your mood is really low and you're not feeling good at all, that is a massive sign that your whole mind and body and nervous system is fatigued and it needs rest. So be very, very careful around that because so many people do not listen to these signs and warnings and then their body breaks down and then a lot of people end up with like stage one, two, three or four adrenal fatigue or chronic fatigue syndrome, which you really don't want to be going in the direction of getting any of those because it can take quite a long time to recover from. A lot of people don't recover from it because they don't know how to. And yeah, the number one thing for making us feel energized is a neurotransmitter known as dopamine. This gives you so much confidence, it boosts your self-esteem, it boosts your libido, your energy levels, it makes you so motivated and driven. And I'm telling you, every time my dopamine levels are high, I have so much energy. Even if I haven't slept so much and I've had a lot of stress going on, I've been training on a regular basis. And the reason why I know about this is because I've studied it so much and experimented with so many different things over the years to optimize my dopamine production. And without an abundance of dopamine being produced, you're never gonna have loads of motivation and energy, and you're not gonna be able to smash out the best workouts possible as well. So this is something that you may want to do some research on, and certain healthy things that you can do to boost dopamine production, because there's a lot of unhealthy things out there that will actually have a negative effect on the whole host of neurotransmitters that your body and gut produces. But yeah, some of the healthy ones are things such as exercise, listening to quite intense upbeat music, listening to inspirational motivational talks, achieving a goal or meeting a new man or woman, 
which I absolutely love that one. And yeah, other things that you can do is specific supplementation. So what I will say is so many people have an excess of a hormone called prolactin, which is also known as the sex breaks. And when prolactin is high, dopamine is low. So you want to get prolactin to go down and then dopamine goes up like a seesaw. And yeah, so many people have low dopamine levels and an excess of prolactin. So some supplements that will reduce prolactin, increase dopamine is zinc. And so many males and females are chronically deficient in zinc. And this is one of the best things I found to increase my dopamine levels, but also my testosterone levels at the same time. And for men that are a lot older, I've read so many testimonials of men that don't feel very youthful anymore and their libido goes down and it has a whole host of negative effects on their intimate love life and the energy levels just go down. They start accumulating a lot of body fat that they don't want. Their muscle mass starts going down. And yeah, I have seen time and time again when I've read these type of people taking zinc in high doses, they start to feel like they are 20 years old again. So it's absolutely amazing for giving you a whole host of other amazing benefits. Number two is borax, and a lot of you may freak out about this, but borax is just a naturally occurring mineral from the Earth's crust. And it's been shown through scientific research, if you give a person around 100 milligrams of borax once a day, it significantly increases the production of testosterone and when you increase the production of testosterone and testosterone starts to go up it also increases a dopamine at the same time and the third one is l-tyrosine of which is an amino acid precursor for the production of the neurotransmitter known as dopamine that i've mentioned in this video various times and yeah i absolutely love this supplement and you can take really high doses and not get any ill effects for the majority of people. And yeah, with this, I recommend taking anywhere from a thousand milligrams to 2000 milligrams once to two times a day. And what I would say is with all of these different supplements, the borax you can take on an empty stomach or with food and it won't break you out of a fasting state if you're someone with into intermittent fasting like I am with my one meal a day diet which is a form of intermittent fasting diet and with the zinc you want to be making sure that you're taking it with food otherwise it can make you feel quite nauseous and with the tyrosine i recommend that you do not take this in a fasted state because amino acids can break you out of a fasted state so i recommend just taking this before your meal that you're first breaking your fast with in the day or taking it with the meal that you're going to be eating within that day. And what I say is for you to actually utilize L-tyrosine and get it to produce an abundance of dopamine within you, you need to be taking a form of B6. Do not take pyroxidine HCL because it actually lowers levels of B6 within the body and it has a whole host of negative effects on so many people holistically. You only want to be taking the P5P form. And what I'm going to do is for each of these supplements, put links down below for UK, worldwide and US suppliers. And what I will do down below in the description next to them is write exactly, again, how much you need to be taking of each one and how often to get the full benefits from them. And one last thing I mentioned, but I'm not going to go into detail on it because YouTube do not like me talking about this at all. It gets my videos demonetized on my other YouTube channel that I've talked about a lot. And that is, I would recommend researching into NoFap. If you don't know about the NoFap movement, this is something that I do the majority of the time. It's one of the best things that I've ever found to reduce prolactin levels and increase my dopamine levels like crazy. And remember, if I can go to the gym on a regular basis, get the body that I desire and keep going in the direction of getting an even better physique, then you can do it too. Make no excuses, be that warrior and push on through because if you don't you're not going to get the results that you desire in the shortest period of time and so many people ask me how did you get such amazing results within such a short space of time where i gained around 10 kilos of muscles within six months because i was daily intermittent fasting and i still do and up until this day i was doing and still am hard very intense calisthenics workouts i eat a plant-based vegan diet, I do specific supplementation, I do infrared saunas on a regular basis and a whole host of other things 
that just help optimize my testosterone levels, my human growth hormone levels, lower my insulin as much as possible, improve my insulin sensitivity and massively burn my body fat like crazy at the same time. And all of these and other amazing things to help burn my body fat as much as possible and increase the muscle mass at the same time, but also optimize my mental and physical health holistically. So yeah, with anything, that I want. I go all out. I make no excuses. I just keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, and I just set my eye on the prize that I want. And nothing is going to get in my way and stop me. And this is how I've achieved so many different things in life. And even if there's times that I fail, I will pick myself up and try again and again and again. And I will always succeed in the end because I just have that type of warrior mentality where I will never give up. And I just have this huge burning desire within me to achieve the things with my body and so many other things in life. So yeah, I'm never going to back down no matter what. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about what I shared with you in this video today. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis which I'll be talking about specific topics on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics progression videos, showing you the progressions and calisthenics workout videos, and so many other different types of videos to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body, the desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.